Hello everybody, it's Mindy and I'm going to walk you through a little framing episode. Um, so I finished this a while ago from Craftably, Jody Bergsma, Long Live Magic. She's beautiful, stunning, and I've been wanting to get her framed. Look how big she is. She's big, okay? Now, let's just start with this, 24 by 36 inches, all right? That's going to require a large frame. I was at Michael's one day and I was super excited. I'll show you what I found. I found this white frame. You see what it says? 24 by 36 inches. It's a poster frame. I think it cost me like $30, but then I got another smaller one. They were having some deal. Buy one, get one free or something like that. So, I made out pretty good in the deal. And I was super excited because it was white. None of them are white. They're all black like this one over here. This one is a 27 by 40 inch. Okay, so remember, I was super excited. This is 24 by 36 inches. How big is the painting? 24 by 36 inches, right? I thought I'm just gonna cut it out and I'm gonna plop it in here. A little bit is gonna get covered up because of the lip of the frame, but it wasn't gonna be too bad. There's not a ton of frame on that, right? So I was super excited. All right, I come home and I start messing with it. Let me show you my issue. It says it's a 24 by 36, right? Well, guess what? It's not, it's not. This is 37 and a half inches, 37 and a half inches. That's an inch and a half larger than the frame. So even to just make it fit in the frame, I would have to cut off an inch and a half top to bottom, make three quarters on the top, three quarters on the bottom. And I was like, man, I do that. I'm going to be cutting off the main up here. I'm going to be cutting off a bunch over here. It's like eight rows I counted, right? And then the other direction, it's an inch. I would have to cut off like through here and cut off a bunch of this swirl and all that. I was not willing to do that. Not willing to do that. Okay. I worked too hard on that. She's too beautiful to cut off that much of that painting. So I said, okay, let's go a different route. So even though I'm not a fan of the black frame, we're going to use the black frame and we're going to make her fit in there because now it's oversized and she'll fit but there's going to be a lot of background that's going to show so what are we going to do what are we going to do i'll show you what we're going to do i have done this i don't know a couple of times and um, i'll show you how this is going to work okay so what i have got here is i've got poster board i'm going to take poster board because i'm going to have to piece this together right i have to piece it together to make it big enough for her right now I could use white poster board but that's not very pretty I'm gonna piece this together I'm gonna make it fit the large frame okay and then I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna make it pretty so I went to Walmart and I found this this was like three dollars so remember I got thirty dollars into the frame but I actually got two frames for that two bucks for some poster board three dollars for some fabric and then we're going to cover this poster board with the fabric so first thing i'm going to do i'm going to open up the large frame i'm going to take off the cardboard back and make this poster board fit the cardboard okay then i'm going to have to iron my fabric here because it's going to be all wrinkly i'll iron my fabric and i'm going to cover the poster board with the fabric then I can adhere the painting right in the center and it will have like a little blue background and the blue is going to be perfect with her. So that's what we're up to. That's our challenge. Let's see how it goes. All right. I'll get back with you. All right. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Um, I did some of the work because I mean, you can figure out how to do some of it. So after I, got my poster boards taped together. I ironed out my fabric and cut fabric to cover. 
And then on the back, all I did was I taped it. I just folded it over. I did a nice little corner here so that'll fit nicely in the frame and just taped that fabric onto the back. I used to try to use double-sided sticky tape and all that stuff. And I was like, why? Nobody's going to see it. It's not going to matter. It's just going to sit in the frame like that, right? So I've taped the fabric on. Now, I've spent a lot of time with getting her centered perfectly. You know, got my little tape measure here and I keep going, okay, we got one and a half inches here and we got this and, you know, measuring and making sure she is centered. She is centered, folks, and she's centered as good as she is going to be. If she's off a hair or a little titch, who's going to know? No one. I keep looking and looking and measuring, and I'm just like, nope, she's good. I, okay, I cut off the legend. I'm going to put that on the back of this poster board when I put it into the frame. I'm not going to put it on the back of the frame on the piece of wood that goes in there. Um, I'm going to put it on the back of this because if I had to fix this, I would have to take this whole thing apart anyhow, right? So I might as well leave the legend inside. So I'm going to do this one more time, just one more time. That is one and a half, one and a half. Yeah, it, it's as perfect as it can get. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this aside. I'll glue this on the back. Now, um, I found these scissors were just fantastic for cutting this canvas. I cut as close to the edge as I can. I just, I scooch right up next to those drills. And sometimes I actually get the drills to slide over into the painting a little bit better as I'm cutting. So I've cut all the edges off, taped. And what am I gonna glue it with? I'm gonna glue it with some Aileen's Clear Tacky Glue. Goes on clear, um, dries clear and strong. Now, how am I gonna do this? It's all perfectly aligned, right? I'm just going to carefully fold this back, right, to about this point right here. I'm going to put glue all over that. And then I'm going to lay it down nice and nice and neat and then get out my rolling pin. <laughs> and I'm going to roll it down so it all does, you know, no gaps, no lumps, no bumps, right? So, um I mean, I can show you a little bit, but I'm not going to show you like the whole process because that would just take too long. But I'll show you a little bit. And I mean, you don't have to be skimpy with the glue, right? You can use a lot of glue. Don't get super close to the edges. Sorry, I got to get my glue down into the tip of the bottle, first of all, here. Come on, glue. <laughs> Maybe I should have waited. Oh, here it comes. Okay. So don't get super close to the edges because it will splooge out, but just, you know, start going back and forth, back and forth and use a good amount of glue. I mean, it's just holding this in place. The frame and everything is going to do a good job as well, holding it in. But, you know, you want to have a good amount of glue on here and I'm just going to go back and forth. Like I said, don't get too close to the edges, just close enough. And just keep glopping it on there. And that's all I'm going to do. Back and forth and glop it, glop it, glop it. You know, I needed more glue in my bottle. Sheesh. All right. Okay. So I'm going to keep doing this until I get this top part done. And then I'm going to lay it back. And then I'll do the opposite from the other end. I'll roll this end up and put glue on that end. So let me keep glue in here. I'll be back. I've only put glue on the top half, but I'm going to roll it now. I'm going to roll it really nice and hard. And that's going to keep it, you know, it's going to help it adhere. And it's going to help it be nice and even, no bubbles in it, stuff like that. I'm gonna go on the other side real quick. Use some pressure on this thing, you know, so it, it adheres nicely. I'm just gonna go back and forth, up and down, in case it needs to scooch up this way a little bit. And then go across that top really good so it doesn't bubble up at the top. 
And uh, dogs are whining. Can you hear them? I know you get a good workout doing this. I think I got glue to about, I don't know, right in here somewhere. I think I got glue. So I'm just going to go back and forth. Get the edges really good. I'm loving the blue fabric that she's on. So I think it looks awesome. I'm happy with it. Everything's going the way it should. <laughs> Worst thing would be to mess up something like this, right? <laughs> Spend so much time. I mean, I spent a year working on the painting. I don't want to mess it up now. But there, I think that's pretty well adhesed. And that also helps, you know, to set any drills that may be popping up. Now, if I don't get all the way up to the halfway point, I'm fine with that. Because... I mean, it's really just to tack it. Okay. Um, make sure there's nothing on here. I got a few little crumbs. And I got one little thing I needed to cut off down here at this one corner. I didn't like it. I had a little I had a little piece of the canvas here I didn't like. So I'm going to trim that off. Oh, it's barely hanging on there. There you go. I don't want to see that. Okay. I need to get some more glue to finish this other half because I'm just about out of that tacky glue. So... I'm going to do that, glue that down, and then we'll roll again. Okay, I have rolled it and rolled it and rolled it and um, let it sit for a little while and let the glue dry a bit. I think it's good. I think it's good. Oh, I just had a thought and it's not going to work. Remember I said I was going to glue this to the back of, I still can. I still can. I'm going to glue this to the back of here. Um, and then I thought, this is going to be really hard to flip it over, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and try to put it in the frame. So I'm going to do it, like, in reverse. I'll show you what I mean. Hang on. I finally got this glue working better. It was kind of clogged up. And I'm like, come on, stop fighting me here. Okay, so let's do this. I'm just going to put this underneath here like this. There we go. Put it right there. There. <laughs> Should get the roller out again, right? No, I'm just going to do this. So I don't want to have to pick this whole thing up and flip it because it's not, it's kind of flimsy, you know, it's just on a uh, poster board. So I don't want to flip the whole thing up. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right. Here is the board. Here's the board that goes in the frame. So I'm going to take the board. Yep. And I'm going to have to do it from the other side. Uh, take the board. And I'm going to slide the board underneath. This is the heavy part. <laughs> the board's the heavy part. We'll slide it up under here like this. All right. Okay. Then we'll kind of flop her over here a little bit. I think I'm hitting that uh, thing I just glued on there. It's on there pretty good. Okay. Right. Get on here. Even it out. Make sure it's on there good. Gosh, I hope this isn't going to be too big. It feels like it's hanging over the edge just a little bit. We'll see. Okay. All right. Then we'll bring the frame to the, to the, you know, to the stuff we got here. I'll put it on top of there, and then I should be able to flip it. And hopefully it all fits in there nicely. It's got to go underneath all those little peg things, you know. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to look it over one more time before I put the glass on it, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get the glass on and get it all fastened in there. What do you think? I think she's a beauty, right? I mean, that turned out super, super good, didn't it? Sorry, we're getting glare from my windows, but okay. See how good it looks, right? I'm pleased with it. It was a little bit of work. It's taken me a couple of hours, the whole process, you know, everything. I really wish it was in the white frame, but... 
it wasn't going to work in the white frame. So, I mean, you can even see sitting here next to that white frame that it was not going to fit in that one. But I did not know she was that big. Bigger than they said. Anyhow, she's gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, look at that. So pretty. So it's done. I couldn't be happier. I think it looks great. What do you think? This is clearly something you can do, right? It just takes a little work, ingenuity, and it turns out beautifully. All right. Thank you, Craftably, for licensing this painting. Um, it was just everything about it's beautiful. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Oh, hit the like, subscribe, all those fun stuff. Okay. Thank you. Bye.